Hi guys, and today I'm both from Box for World Book Day coming up soon. Um, well, I would like to talk about my favourite book, Gangster Granny by David Williams. And yes, so I'm a, um, and it's illustrated by Tony Ross. And um, basically, what happens in the story is um, there's a character called Ben and um, he doesn't like going to his granny's and he thinks his granny's really boring so then when he finds out she's a gangster he think he thinks he's he's got a much better granny but there is some other parts of the story that I don't want to tell you because I'm sure you want to find out yourself um, and um, I'm going to read you a little part about it. Now the first chapter. This is just introducing you to the story and the characters. So you have a clear idea if you, if you want to buy this book. But Granny is so boring, said Ben. It was a usual cold Friday evening in November. And as usual, he was slumped in the back of his mum and dad's car once again he was on his way to stay the night at his dreaded granny's house all old people are don't talk about your granny like that said dad weakly his fat stomach pushed against the steering wheel of the family's little brown car i hate spending time with her protested then her tv doesn't work all she wants to do is play scrabble and she stinks of cabbage in fairness to the boy, she does stink of cabbage, agreed Mum, as she applies some last minute lip liner. You're not helping, wife, muttered Dad. At worst, my mother has a very slight odour of oil vegetables. Can't I come with you, pleaded Ben. I love ball rocks at dancing, he lied. It's called ballroom dancing, corrected Dad. You don't love it, you said, and I quote, I would rather eat my own bogey than watch that rubbish. Now Ben's mum and dad love ballroom dancing. Sometimes Ben thought... They loved it more than they loved him. There was a TV show on Saturday evenings that Mum and Dad never missed called Strictly Stars Dancing where celebrities would be paired with professional ballroom dancing. In fact, if there was a fire in their house and Mum could only save either a sparkly gold cap shoe once worn by Davo Farley, the shiny tan dancer and heartbreaker, from a tally who appeared on every series of the hit TV show or her only child, Ben thought she would probably go for a shoot. Tonight his mum and dad were going to an arena to see Strictly Stars dancing live on stage. I don't know what you don't give up I don't know why you don't give up on this pipe dream of becoming a plumber, Ben and thinking about dancing professionally, said Mum. Her lip liner schooling across her cheek as the car bounced over a particularly bumpy speed bump. Mum had a habit of applying makeup in the car, so then she often arrived somewhere looking like a clown. Maybe, just maybe, you could end up in Strictly, added Mum excitedly. So, um, bye guys, that's the end of the chapter. To find out more, watch another one of my videos to carry on with a bit more of the story of Gants the Granny. If you like this video, please put press the subscribe button down below. Bye!